I've never been on a retreat where I have no clue where I'm going. I'm like the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit nervous, but other than that, I think it's cool that we don't know where we're going. I've never had that before on a trip. I've always known how long the stupid ride would be, but this is fun. I'm not in a very good place right now. I've had a lot of things go wrong lately. I'm hoping that God can take away all the misfortune that I have. These teens have hopped on a bus with zero information as to where they're headed. And we're hoping that their trust in us over the next three days can help them to trust God with the future of their entire lives. Specifically regarding their vocation, whether that's to marriage, priesthood, or consecrated life. Can they trust God and follow Him even if they don't know where that's gonna lead them? These are interesting kids. They come from Cajun country down in southern Louisiana. They got the food, the music, the culture, the, the accent. But they're normal teens, you know? They deal with normal teen issues like relationships and school and peer pressure. And we're trying to see if they can really trust God with all that stuff, including their vocation. So it should be pretty interesting. Better than John Mayer. But don't tell John Mayer I said that. The best oh thing God. ever, really. You can't lean forward. <laughs> oh my God! What do you really want? Is your deepest desire Christ? I've been on many retreats before, but I've never felt such a powerful transformation in that moment as what I did in that moment. The whole trip is trust. Mostly in my case, if I don't trust someone, it's because I've been hurt before. You don't want to repeat getting hurt again, so it's kind of a standoffish, distant thing. I know you. <laughs> you wanted a retreat on trust? You got it. Yeah. <laughs>